There are lots of people like this. They're intelligent, they're competent, they're capable, but their life is a mess because every step they take, they are in friction with something. Any moving part, we want to make it round because it moves with least amount of resistance. In the Far East Asian cultures, they're referring to uh, an enlightened being as enchi, which means he's a circle, whatever they consume is just burnt and it doesn't become body, it becomes another dimension of energy. Bandha literally means a lock. That is, you engage certain locks in the body so that your energy behaves in a particular way. Why these bandhas? What they can do for you? Have you heard of a word called ojas? O-J-A-S, ojas? The word ojas means a non-physical dimension of energy. That is, you can generate a certain amount of non-physical dimension of energy around you. If you have ojas around you, your passage through the world, the passage through life becomes well lubricated. That is, you will pass with minimum amount of friction. In the Far East Asian cultures, an enlightened being is referred to as enchi. Enchi means, literally means a circle. You know, your car wheel, your car, do you have… what kind of wheels do you have? Round wheels or square wheels or triangular wheels? What do you have? Oh, but uh, a triangular wheels would be definitely more jazzy, isn't it? Why round wheels? least amount of resistance. With least amount of resistance it rolls, any moving part we want to make it round because it moves with least amount of resistance. So we are referring to… in the Far East Asian cultures, they are referring to uh, an enlightened being as enchi, which means he's a circle, not because he's round of body, because he moves with least amount of resistance well lubricated. You may have a fantastic driving machine, just take off the engine oil and drive it. How long do you think your car will last? Hmm? Your Jaguar, how long will it last if you take away <laughs> the engine oil? Maybe ten minutes, in fifteen minutes it'll be gone. So lubrication is that important. In anything that moves, lubrication is that important. So if you want to move through the world without being well lubricated, you will see every step of your life seems like friction and every step of your life will be suffering because there is no lubrication. There are lots of people like this. They're intelligent, they're competent, they're capable, but their life is a mess because every step they take, they are in friction with something. So if you develop a certain amount of urges around you, you pass through this existence with least amount of friction. The less friction you have, the more you would like to do, isn't it? Yes? You would naturally venture to do a lot of things if you had no friction problems. But every day you step out, you get into some friction, you will hesitate tomorrow to step out. This is happening all the time, isn't it? <laughs> when you develop ojas, if you start developing ojas, one thing that will happen to you is all the excess weight in the body will start going away by itself. Oh. <laughs> you know, if you come to the yoga center, you will see certain people at certain times will be in a certain type of sadhana or certain type of inner work. When they're doing this, these days we keep them completely secluded because people get scared looking at the way they eat. They will eat ten times of what a normal person would eat, heaps of food. 
but they will be losing weight. We will put them on high fat diet, all ghee, milk, butter like this. In spite of that, they will continue to lose weight simply because they are converting the physical into non-physical dimension of energy. Whatever they consume is just burnt and it doesn't become body, it becomes another dimension of energy. In yoga, we call this as stealing from the earth <laughs> because whatever you have right now, the mass of your body is something that you have borrowed from this planet. You can borrow, she's… Mother Earth is very generous with the loan that she gives. You can borrow as much as you want if you can carry it around. But when the time to pay back, when the time for payback comes, she will collect atom to atom. If you say, I've been here for so long, let me have one atom as a souvenir, no deal. She collects every atom back. So this is considered stealing from the earth because now you transform physical into non-physical dimension of energy. Now she cannot stop you, you can take it away with you. So this is packaging something for a long journey without she knowing about it. Otherwise, she will grab it back. If it's in the physical form, she'll filter it out. If it's in a non-physical form, the earth cannot hold it back. Now you're doing Shambhavi. If you're doing it every day, you will develop ojas, some amount of ojas, which will see suddenly everything seems to be facilitated for you, it just happens. If you do not have any ojas, you may have all other capabilities, but simply because of the fear of friction, you will be held back. I feel this is eighty percent of the world's population. They are all held back, always with the fear of what will happen to me, what will happen to me. Wherever they go, they will have bad experiences. If they step in and try to do something with some enthusiasm, tomorrow morning little friction happens and they stay back. I think this is eighty percent of the population, the fear of what will happen makes them into half a step, never a full step in their life. So, ojas or generating ojas is a very important part of living successfully in whatever you're doing.